In today's video, I'll be attempting to use this photo of Master Chief and turn it into a professional looking poster for season two using Photoshop. Welcome back to the channel. My name is Colton, also known as Nerd Designer. Thank you for clicking on the video. Thank you very much, sir. I don't think you'll regret it. Today, we are creating a poster for the upcoming season of the Halo TV show where Master Chief never wears his helmet and he's the weirdo looking dude with the mustache from Orange is the New Black. But Halo is an IP that is near and dear to my heart. With season two of the Paramount Plus show coming out in February and the story seemingly taking us through the fall of Reach, it actually piqued my interest in the series a little bit. Also, at the end of each video, I take one comment from you guys and I answer it candidly. So if you want to be featured in a video, leave a comment. I usually see the mean ones. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that bell button. It really does help the channel if you like what I do here. Subscriber push over. Let's open up Photoshop and finish the fight. First, we have to cut Chief out of the photo. I've gotten into a habit of doing this quickly using the subject selection button and then cleaning up the edges using the selection marquee tool. After we've placed him onto our canvas, we then place a stock photo of just some ground and some dirt and some rubble underneath him. I'm working fast and loose here just to establish composition. The trailers for season two are clearly taking us through the fall of Reach. So that's the classic motif of the big lasers coming down and glassing the planet. So you knew I was gonna have to put that in my poster. Usually when I cut out figures, I just straight up cut them out. But for Chief, I left his layer mask intact so that I could actually soft brush away the contact areas of his knees and his hands so that the dirt that shines through in the photo can eventually match the uh, dirt from the landscape I picked. This creates a way more seamless interaction between Chief and the ground. Why bother faking that stuff when I'm so bad at it when the real thing is already there? Use your brain. Be smart, be a smart guy. I then placed a PNG of embers for no discernible reason. Looking back, it only served to distract and annoy me the whole time. I have no idea why I decided to place that so early. If it looks like I have no plan, it's because I have no plan. I am not an intelligent adult. After taking a quick brain break to turn off all the lights and stare into the void and have an existential crisis about my place in the universe and whether or not I'll ever be a success, I move on to properly coloring the ground. This is done with a levels adjustment layer and a hue and saturation adjustment layer. Once I landed on a color I enjoyed for one piece of the ground, I then copy and pasted those layers and then I clipping mask them to the other pieces of the ground. I also put them on chief, masking away everything except the dirt and some of the shadows on his body. Next, I had to establish the background landscape. The main visual reference I was shooting for when it comes to the landscape of reach was that shot in the campaign after big teddy bear boy Spartan man picks you up like the sweet bear daddy he is mm. picks you up and he puts you out the window like the tiny little baby that you are and he gives you one last look at his glorious mustache that you've spent the whole game wishing that you could just sit on <laughs> not not yours not yours. I shouldn't even know what you look like under there. Go away. Go away. <coughs> Sorry, I got caught up there. There's something awfully spooky going on around here. So yeah, that's what I was trying to match. 
At this point, I was starting to get bored, so I wanted to start adding some of the fun details, the stuff that makes this worth doing. Lens flares, heat, dust, battle elements. I noticed in the actual poster for season two that there's this kind of gold flaky lava cracks in the ground underneath Chief. And I'm assuming that's a byproduct of the glassing of the planet that's happening. And it's a cool motif that they keep pushing in the actual marketing. So I tried to, you know, make a little nod to it in, in my poster. This is where the fun part starts. I wanted to get like this snapshot, like we're in the middle of a battle from the game. So to achieve this, I started out with just a basic crystal PNG I found online, trying to make it look like it's one of the Halo Reach needlers, needles that are coming by him. I used a hue and saturation layer on that crystal, clicked colorize and made it that hot pink look that it's got. I also put an outer glow by double clicking on the crystal layer, setting the outer glow to the same color. Then I set the angle of it and I duplicated the shit out of that motherfucker. A big part of selling effects like these are lighting and shadows hitting the environment. I now realize two things about myself. One, I am smart enough to know how important that step is. Two, I am very often too lazy to do it properly. In this case, I have a cheapo quick cut corners technique that I use, and it worked way better than it usually does. You create a new layer, you grab a brush, you set it to the color of the glow of whatever you're trying to match, you set the layer to linear dodge add, and you just start sprinkling lights where the glow is. Lower the opacity just a touch, double click on the layer to open up its properties, and start playing around with the blend if sliders. This knocked out immediately all of the shadows while leaving all the highlights where that light would illuminate and the light would get lost. So it immediately became this seamless transition where a lot of the times you have to paint that in by yourself. Works like a goddamn charm. Also quickly, secret time, circle of trust. I realized that my over-reliance on gradient maps is damaging my final product in all these posters. I've gotten way too comfortable using them and I use them way too often. My new year's resolution this year was, well, after doubling down on my alcoholism was to use less gradient maps in these videos. Anyways, at this point, it's a lot of repeating steps I've already shown you to fill out the canvas. Add an element, match the lighting to the environment, add artificial highlights and shadows. That's really the name of the game for the entire thing. The biggest issue still remaining is the giant laser. This is the glassing beam that's hitting the planet. And I'm gonna be honest, I literally had no idea what to do. So I turned to my good buddy, Artificial Intelligence, and he absolutely fucking failed me this time. I'm usually, it solves all my problems almost immediately. And this time, none of the big giant laser prompts were getting me jack fucking shit. I had no idea how I was going to achieve the look that's shown in the trailers. And if we're being entirely honest, circle of trust, circle of trust, circle of trust. Uh, I reworked the laser like three different times. So what you're seeing right now is not what I ended up doing. So it doesn't seem worth it to bother you with what I did when I ended up changing it while editing this video. After placing the company logos, it's time to follow the nerd designer patented steps to finishing out a poster. Camera raw filter with the clarity bar. Ew, this is so cringe. Guilty. Oil paint texture and a posterized edge filter. These filters have kind of lately produced a look for me like this the way this kind of makes things look at the end is now kind of synonymous with me for better or for worse i don't sometimes i don't think it adds to the poster properly like the subject matter doesn't require it but it's also like if you see it somewhere my hope would be is you know immediately that's a nerd designer joint because of the way it looks so i guess i'm gonna keep doing it And that is the poster. Usually I talk about how happy I'm feeling and how proud I am of the final product, but to be honest with you, this one 
this one never really sat quite right with me. I could never get it right. I was always playing with it and being hypercritical. Maybe it's because I'm just so invested in this franchise and this IP and the fans have been shit on for like a decade that I felt like it deserved better, but I also couldn't properly give it any better. So I don't know. I guess you guys will be the judge if you thought this was any good or not. What did you guys think of this poster? What do you think of the show if you watched season one? Is Chief being a part of the fall of Reach kind of a cool idea? Or is it kind of shitting on the continuity that was established in Reach, the game? I think it could be kind of cool with Chief, this guy who never loses and always finds a way up against this thing that we know happens that he can't stop. And a proper team of writers could find some cool shit in there. But this is the people who made season one. So here's the section we like to call chatting with that dumb guy at the party who won't stop talking about all the nerd stuff he likes and can't get any bitches I couldn't actually find a good question for this one, so I'm just gonna go with a comment that I really appreciated. Akaimo Cole says on my Insomniac Spider-Man 2 video, man, it's literally just a background change. I'm not gonna lie, that one hurts. That one hurts. Yeah, 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 yeah. I ain't gonna lie, I'm getting cooked. <laughs> <laughs> because I... <laughs> Oh, God damn it. I swear to God, I didn't think of that when I was making it. I thought I was genuinely pushing the medium forward with that one. <laughs> he really got me good there. I can't even, like, look at this one now. Now that he's pointed it out, it's, ugh. Oh, makes me want to take the whole fucking video down. That's very, very funny, though. That's a really, that's really funny. That That's good. Good catch. And thank you for commenting. I'll answer anything you guys leave down in the comments. So even if it's not Photoshop related, go try and get yourself in the video. Chat with me. Let's go. And here we are at the end. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the bell if you enjoy what I do here. It really helps me out. I love you very much. Go watch another video. They're all over the fucking place. Stay sexy. Bye.